Hello friends, Tanya here for Trinity Stamps and today I am going to make a stenciled plaid and we're going to make some foiled bows. We're going to start out with the Slimline Stripes stencil set. There are two stencils in that set but I'm just using the straight stripes. I have a couple of distress inks here. The first one is Fired Brick. So I'm going to do the lines in this direction with fired brick and I do have a little bit of pixie spray on the back of this stencil from a previous session. I've turned the stencil in the other direction and now it doesn't cover the entire half sheet of cardstock but I've creatively taped it down with some painter's tape and I am inking it with the aged mahogany ink on some I think this is this color of red is poppy. Next we're going to use the Big Bows Little Bows foiling set. Now this is a beautiful foiling set. I'm going to use it on some hammer mill cardstock and later I will get out some inks and ink blend on it to get the color that I want. I'm using some matte gold foil which is av available in a four pack and is absolutely gorgeous. It's the um, matte metallics set and that's available in the Trinity shop also. Here I have taken the big bow and I used my brother scan and cut because I don't have the dies. I'd much rather have the dies than I could have foiled this on some colored cardstock. I have ink blended this with some brushed corduroy distress ink. I wanted it to be craft colored to make this very country homey package look for my card. And I am making a five by seven card today. I have these ribbon pieces that I've foiled and I'm going to ink blend those with the same color of distress ink. And I have foiled the ribbon piece several times on a piece of uh, white cardstock. Now I am going to take them to my guillotine trimmer and use the edge of the uh, safety device to get my spacing to trim these out into ribbon sections that I will use to add to the front of the card. I have pretty good luck here and didn't mess up how even those borders were. Next I took the modern embossed A7 stack and die cut a piece of white cardstock a little larger than I die cut the plaid cardstock because I want to mat that behind the flannel. <clears throat> Sorry, the plaid. And I did ink blend the edge of this with the same brushed corduroy ink so that it would match our ribbon also. I wanted this to be all the same nice brown craft colored. Next I'm going to adhere these to my 5x7 white card base and you could certainly use the crafty glue friend. It is awesome glue unless you're allergic to latex which I am so I'm going to stick with the Barely Art glue and we're going to adhere these to my 5x7 heavyweight white cardstock. It does take me a little time to get this lined up perfectly because I think my card base was a little cut crooked. Next we're going to add our plaid piece. I really like how that plaid turned out. You can use some of your very basic supplies to create a pattern without a whole lot of effort. Next we're going to take our foiled and ink blended ribbon strips and we're going to add those to the front of the card. We are going to um, take two long pieces of ribbon here to create the cross section and because they won't be long enough as one piece and they will be hidden behind the bow, we will use two pieces joined at the uh, crossover with the ribbon from the other direction and I will just trim off the extra off the ends. Yes, this does extend past the layers but I think that works just perfectly well. Next I add a little bit of coaster blank for some dimension behind our bow. You could use dimensionals or whatever you like. We're also going to use the sentiments from Polar Party. I love the font of this Happy Holidays 
sentiment. We're going to heat emboss this in gold embossing powder. I've stamped it with some clear embossing ink, the juicy ink pad, and I'm using brass embossing powder. I'll heat set that and we'll have some beautiful sentiments here. And then I will pull out the coordinating dies that come or that you can purchase with the Polar Party die, stamp set. Then I cut two more of each of the words for extra behind the embossed words so that they would stand up on our card nicely. And I'm just using my pickup stick to clean off any extra glue that oozed out from the edge. I bet you didn't know that the tool could do that. It's pretty handy. You can use it for getting glue out of inlay areas and in small little crevices. It's a pretty awesome tool. I've found lots of ways to use it. Next, we're going to adhere these to the front of the card. I am going to use my tweezer just so I don't get my gluey, gluey fingers all over my project. The plaid stripes do really help when I'm trying to line up my sentiment nice and straight. I decided to go above and below that cross um, member of the ribbons. Next, I have some extras left over from creating the card, and we're going to add those to the inside of the card to just pull it all together. I have a little bit of extra plaid and one more strip of the foiled and trimmed out ribbon. So I adhered the plaid first, and then I am adding the ribbon right on top of that, and then I'll trim that off on the side. And that will complete the entire card. You can put a uh, whatever sentiment you would like on the inside. I hope you enjoyed this fairly simple video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please take a moment to do that now. And I would love to hear what you have to say about this project. Leave me a comment down below. If you're interested in any of the products that I've used today, check that description box below. They will listed and be listed and linked as always. Until next time, here are a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. Bye-bye.